Mm. It was a sultry night. <laughs> kind of like tonight, man. We're filming outside in my backyard and um, it's wet, rainy, and really, really humid. Whoa, it's humid. So I'm gonna tell you a story here. The other day I was uh, wanting to uh, buy a freezer. I still wanna buy a freezer, <laughs> but uh, I went all over the map looking for a, a freezer and uh, didn't find one. Eventually, I went to the ReStore uh, thinking, well, maybe they've got a, a, a freezer. <laughs> anyway, I walked in, first thing I saw was my freezer. Look at this baby. <laughs> a fine looking freezer. How could I pass this up? I can't pass this up. Oh my God. Yeah, two chairs. Check out the chair, man. Sweet, right out of uh, George Jetson. <laughs> Meet George Jetson, Jane, his wife. Ba, ba, ba. It's kind of like Jack and the Beanstalk, isn't it? Um, where are those magic beans? <laughs> it's a fine freezer. Yeah, I love it. Today, I have something very special for you. Uh, we're gonna make a grilled peach sour. It's delightful. So the first thing you wanna do is slice a peach. And peaches are in season here in Ontario, where I'm from. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna grill both of them. So we'll get rid of that pit here. God, these are juicy, eh? Ontario peaches, get them while you can. Next thing is to uh, fire up the grill. Okay, let's get to grilling. Whoosh. We're just gonna let that heat up for a minute. And in the meantime, we're gonna pour some oil here. Uh, today I'm using some rice bran oil. Um, it's not bad. What you want is an oil that has a, a high smoke temp, okay? Uh, you could use coconut oil. Uh, you could use uh, vegetable oil, canola oil, or <laughs> rice bran oil, as I'm using. Coconut would be nice, yeah. The reason you want a high smoking point in an oil is because, well, <laughs> this grill is hot. <laughs> so what we wanna do is just uh, brush this peach, this fresh ripe peach with oil. Slap her on our grill. Might as well do both sides, eh? We're only gonna use a half, but maybe we'll just eat the other one, who knows? <laughs> Cha -cha. I'm gonna do the outside too, why not? Get her all nice and oily dip. Sweet, whoa, come back, oh! He's slipping and sliding, baby. Nice. And you wanna give it maybe three, four minutes. I guess I better go get some tongs. <laughs> All right, while we're waiting for this, these wonderful fresh peaches to charbroil. <laughs> I wish I had a peach joke. Why was the peach acting funny this one day? Because it was all fuzzy. Wah, wah. Sorry. They're coming. It might take a little bit more than three minutes, but we'll grill them up nice. Give me a little more heat. You want a nice hot, nice hot heat. It took a little longer than uh, three to four minutes. What you're looking for is that wonderful grilled markings there. Awesome. So what we want to do now, he's that plate's hot too. Just, uh, it's hot. That's freaking hot, man. Uh, we just want to um, let them cool now. <laughs> Let's 
gonna take a few minutes, okay? I'll see you in a, what, in a clock way? Okay, our peaches are nice and cool now. So we only need half. Hmm, which one? Well, let's take the big one. Okay. And we're gonna just cut this up. Drop it in our glass portion here of our mixer. And maple syrup. <laughs> yeah, we want three quarters of an ounce, okay? Of Pure Canadian maple syrup. It's delicious. Yeah. And what we're gonna do is muddle this. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I get the, the burnt chard from the grill, the sweetness from the uh, maple syrup. <laughs> Delightful. Yeah, that looks pretty good actually. Marvelous. Next thing is fresh lemon. We want an ounce of fresh pressed lemon. I think I'm gonna get more than an ounce there. Should I measure this one out? Oh, probably. It's summertime, that's why. That looks pretty good, actually. One ounce of fresh pressed lemon juice. Now for the fun part, bourbon. Uh, today I'm using Four Roses. Four Roses single barrel bourbon is complex, full bodied and surprisingly smooth considering it's, you know, 50% alcohol by volume or 100 proof. The nose is rich and fruity with aromas of oak, burnt sugar, and spice. The palate is, well, it's tart stone fruits with rich flavors of wood spice cherries and caramel. The finish is long, slightly warm with notes of oak, chocolate, and butterscotch. Yum. Four roses, yeah. Two ounces. Yum. This is such a lovely uh, bourbon. Love it, love it, love it. Grab some ice. Yeah. Where's my scoop? Here's my scoop. A little bit more. Perfect. Slap a lid on and shake it like you're shaking peaches out of a tree. Ha! Nice and hard. I don't know. 12 seconds or so. Oh yeah, you can feel it. I can hear it. It's done. Beauty. And we just want to fill this wonderful little rock glass with some uh, ice here. Beauty. I think that works totally well. And uh, strain it out. You want to use your Hawthorne strainer, not fine strain it, because you want those bits of um, those bits of charred peach in your drink. Oh yeah, look at that. This is beautiful. Oh, that's perfect. I'm liking it. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to grab some lemon here, some fresh lemon rind, scour our lip, espress the oils, drop her in a drink, and a nice little piece of peach, peachy kino. <laughs> okay, now I've got some Angostura bitters. Two dashes, beautiful. Now I've got some Southern Comfort. Um, I put it in a little spray bottle here 
And the reason I'm using Southern Comfort is because, well, it's an, it's an old liqueur. 1874, out of uh, New Orleans, uh, Louisiana. And it has wonderful notes of uh, peach, apricot, cinnamon, spice. Just a wonderful little liqueur. Uh, we're just gonna spray a couple times here. Yeah, beautiful. Look at this thing of beauty. Holy crap, man, that just looks inviting on a sultry night like tonight. <laughs> it is wet out here. Oh, that is really delicious. Unbelievably delicious. I get a little bit of the charredness from the, the peach for sure. The peach is coming up front. The lemon is there balancing out that, that uh, maple syrup that we used. It's sweet and sour. It's a beautiful drink, man. What else can I say about it? Other than I'm probably gonna make another. <laughs> Thing about this too is we used two ounces of 50% um, alcohol by volume or uh, 100 proof uh, bourbon here. And it is so smooth. It blends so well in this cocktail. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, you gotta make one. Ooh, there's a nice sizzle. Whoa, come back. Ouch, Jesus, ah, pain. Ah. Can you move that one back closer? I'm working on it. Shit, it's hot. Maybe I'll close the lid for a bit. <laughs> hey, you like my shirt? <laughs> The whole town's talking about my shirt. Yeah, I like my shirt. You should like my shirt too. <laughs> you should buy my shirt. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out in the future. Anyway, you got to hit the subscribe button. Check the other videos out. And make a grilled peach sour. Because it's all about the sour in your life. <laughs> oh, no, wait. I pity the fool that don't make a grilled <laughs>